So. Well, here's what well, here's what we wish, okay? And you need to listen to what we're saying, all right? Because your daddy's sitting right here and he'd tell you the same thing. <laughs> Uh, we don't want you driving right now, okay? So, I'm going to. I'm home. I'm okay. safe. Okay. okay. And uh, just, you know, get some rest. And um, then we'll make, you know, plans. Okay? Okay. And we're not, okay. not going to rush this. Tell Dad something, though. He's right here. Yeah, he's listening to you. <laughs> he's crazy ass. He knows you love him. He knows you love him, okay? I want to go through the process of the cancer treatment and try to explain best I can. But I'll go through as Tracy. <laughs> Behind the scenes, behind the scenes of Katie on the flip side. Oh boy. Oh, the broccoli. She's like, uh, that's not a toy. <laughs> She's so weird with food. She said, you gotta be kidding me, fool. <laughs> this is like a little tree. <laughs> it's another vlog, daily vlog that is. Hey baby girl, you playing with your bananas? Huh? You playing with them? It's just so fun having her just sit here and like, she's not even eating them, she's just playing around with them. Eventually you're gonna realize that that's what you need to make yourself grow. We've had an exciting, not exciting, eventful, eventful. morning uh, so far. Dad is no longer staying here right now. <laughs> he has uh, been taken to the hospital, the paramedics had to come. I did a quick little Snapchat video of it, like when he was leaving, trying to just, you know, boost his spirits up a little bit. So if you're seeing this a day late, or if you've already seen about it or heard about it on one of the social medias, then that's not any new news, but uh, he did get taken to the hospital. He was very, very lethargic this morning and very uh, just out of it. And dehydrated. Very, very dehydrated. He was almost a different color this morning. His Which we've been trying to push. Skin tone, yeah. Fluids, but you can't make him drink. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's all chemo that's causing this. And this is what he knew was ha gonna happen. And he knew it was coming. But um, I think this time, this time is worse than last time. Just cause. And uh, he'd lost his lunch a couple of times the day before yesterday or yesterday was it yesterday or day before yesterday uh, i think maybe the day, day, before, day yesterday before yesterday and yesterday and, yesterday. Right. and then hadn't been able to drink anything and then this morning he had a couple of accidents on himself and we had to wash the sheets and stuff so it's kind of weird to go through like you hear about it and think about it and <laughs> what in the world where's your passy where's your passy you passy but it's just weird to think about because like we we're helping him there you go that's your shut up shut up passy <laughs> put a hole in it or what is it put a pipe in it, plug in it. put a plug in it <laughs> plug up the hole <laughs> I'm trying to vlog here um, but it's just one of those things that I was just telling Katie that's interesting because uh, we we're helping him get dressed and he was just so lethargic that he was like I was having to put his pants on him and like I would move one leg up and then move the other leg up and I was like, I'd do that with her. You know, it's just weird that the circle of life happens like that. It's like, work with me, work with me. 
stick your arm through the hole, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> when they came, they immediately hooked him up and got him some uh, fluids, so that'll make him feel better, I know. But, whoa! whoa she just said, I will take that <laughs> pie hole plug and throw it at you. Dang, girl. I mean, it's If anything else was on her plate, she would be having it all in her mouth, but the banana, or any food, she's like, any food. whatever. Yeah, watch. This is going to go straight to her mouth. <laughs> Are my eyes still dilated? Are they good now? Are they different sizes? One, the one on the right, one? yeah, that one's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Her nap time, everything was happening the first round and then it was her time to wake up everything was happening mom showed up katie showed up paramedics showed up and we got other people showing up in a little while i'm just glad that we're all here like we are able to be here because this would have been even crazy like what if we'd have both had to go to work today oh yeah that's true too and that's just a tough call mom but mom like knew it Mom knew it as soon as she saw him. She was like, all right, let's call the paramedics. And I, that didn't even cross my mind because had, we had an appointment for him this morning anyway that he was going to get up and go to. But, um, because he had a fever. Like because that. he had a fever. Yeah, running a fever. That was another thing. So, fever, diarrhea, throwing up, lethargy. Uh, is it lethargy? Is lethargy. Lethargy. Welcome to chemo. Chemo. Then they said call us or call the paramedics if you have any of this. For more than a 24 hour period, which he did, so. And we'll talk to you when we get to Cullen's house. Okay, I love you. Love you too. Bye. I like the second one better. Yeah! Okay, because I liked it. It was more. <laughs> what was this one? The taste test. Wait, I shouldn't have told you if that was good or not. I don't know if that was mine or not. We're watching old vlogs with dad in them and just sitting in his room. Have you told them that yet? I, like this. No, I haven't like expressed anything yet, really. It's just, it's hard to even, it's crazy right now. I don't even know. I'll, we'll get back to you in a minute, but uh, I just wanted to show you what we're doing right now. We're just being together as a family, so that's all we can do right now. He gotta eat steak. Oh, it's a and he had fun. Hey. Look the best doggy that dad brought. Granberry, it's been a long day. Yep, sure has. <laughs> We're, I haven't even really talked about it, and I don't know when I will or if I will, but as you can tell from social media and everything else, we're going to uh, do a target balling picture in memory of Trixie. Trixie. The only way he would have it. He was so gung-ho about wearing a dress and a wig <laughs> and being a different character. <clears throat> it's just crazy. And so. all I can do is just think about it and face palm. <laughs> Trixie's ideas. But anyway, here we go. Late, late night target bowling. It's 1.23 a.m. We've just been sitting in his old room and talking and kind of just recapping everything it's just all been such a numbing blurry day can't believe that it's actually happened i know that's the hardest yeah. weirdest part you ever lost someone you love it's kind of just like you real numb and you don't you don't know what to do next yeah it's like okay what now of course our family we go what next and we go we're gonna go target ball. <laughs> yes, exactly. You gotta just keep the, you know, fun into it. We're like, this is what dad would want, you know? So, yeah, everything tonight, we were like, dad would have done that. <laughs> dad would have done that. So, uh, 
it's just I think the main the biggest part was the quickness and it makes you realize that like I've said a couple times tonight is if we just had one more day well you know what I will say is that take don't take any moment for, for granted. granted yeah and um, just always wrap your arms around the ones you love and just make sure that you always tell them how much you love them yeah and uh, the beauty in our family is that we've had that opportunity and because uh, a lot of people don't get that I mean it just and we just make sure you you make it expressed and you know and uh, just leave no stone unturned when it comes to that kind of it's stuff crazy. and I was telling mom and Katie and Rachel earlier that it's even though dad was downstairs and away from everybody he was still living with us and it's just crazy having your somebody there even though he wasn't a burden or anything but there were some times when it's like oh my gosh I'm in the middle of doing something but now I'm like if I could do it again I would do it again in a heartbeat and that's just going back to not taking it for granted so in those annoying times you never know <sighs> how you're gonna how you're gonna miss them there's somebody in there? Yeah. Oh, it's probably the cleaners or the employees. They're probably wondering what we're doing. <laughs> Here we go. Target bowling, baby. Oh, yeah, it's the cleaning crew. All right. In honor of Trixie. In honor of Trixie. In honor of Dad. Oh, here Rest we go. In peace. Rest in peace, Trixie. You we are love you. awesome. We love you. <sighs> okay, y'all. It is 2 30 in the morning. I'm wearing my dad's watch. <laughs> um, I just figured, I, I don't think we ever like addressed it. I mean, if you're on Twitter and Instagram and all that, we addressed it there. But like we haven't addressed it with the blog, but, um, and given any details, but, um, Golly, I'm a ratchet. I don't even know where to start, but. Well, um, did you tell him or we? Did you tell him about hadn't he went to the hospital earlier? Did you did you know about I think that? I, yeah, I think I said. Like that. after the ambulance know. came. It's been such a blur today, guys, and I just want to have this for my own memories and for games and like just everything i mean it's just it's crazy to think about well so he went to he went to the hospital because he was you did talk about this yeah, earlier yeah, yes yeah, you did yeah. okay so um they were there and lots of different medical stuff happens that happens when you go to the emergency room um, something Helen was just talking about was how his sister was like, his sister that is not in town was like, so what happened? He was like, I don't know, actually. Like we're still, I'm just. It's still kind of like, why, why? I mean, he was okay a couple days ago. You don't just like, was it his heart that stopped or was it his liver? Or lungs was it his or liver? His was it his lungs? I mean... Was it his brain? Because he was, um. Colin's mom said by the time they got to the hospital, he was gasping for breath a lot and very short of breath. So that was part of it. Um, just a lot of things that happened. So as far as just the whole, I don't understand death and dying, um, really. I, I mean, I understand it, obviously, but I don't, it's one of those things I'm like, with all the medical technology, why can't you yeah, stop it? Why don't you turn it around? If it's his heart that stops, why don't they make it start again? Right. That's what medical technology does these days. It's just. But, um, I'm just so thankful that he opened himself up to the vlogs and opened himself up to the community and lived life the last three weeks or four weeks or whatever. Well, that's what I told was. Cullen is just been... we didn't, cause we, okay, well we didn't talk about what happened with, so 
his mom was at the hospital. Granberry was at the hospital with him. Mm -hmm. Called and said, like, you know, y'all need to, you know, probably come up here in a little bit. Right. Um, Cullen was like, let me edit this this video. He was editing my Katie on the flip side video. Which, by the way, it'll be up later. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't up today. Um, Cullen was in the middle of editing it. And um, we were like, okay, well, we'll do those things and then we'll go up there. We had made, made plans to drop Gaines off with my parents. And then his mom called and said, the doctor said I need to come back and see him right now because he might not make it the next few minutes. Yeah, I mean, we packed up and got out of here in 10 minutes. Less and than then... 10 minutes, took everything for Gaines. My parents came and met us at the hospital so we didn't even have to go to their house. Um, I let Cullen out at the door of the emergency room. He went in there, I went to meet my parents in the parking lot and but By that time, Cullen was, called me when he got in there. Yeah, mom and, said mom said she was beside him when he passed. Which but, the time that that actually happened was right about the time we left our house. So yeah. as fast as we could have driven, packed up whatever, we, we wouldn't have. It just it's it it's just, I think it's just so mind blowing because it was so fast, like so fast, just like two days ago. Well, and obviously he has cancer. He's going through chemo. We knew the outcome might not be good, but right. we, it, this was the first three days of chemo. He had another round set for April 8th. Yeah, yeah. And they said he had severe pneumonia, which we didn't know about. And we may, we think he, they may be getting that confused with the uh, fungus that he had previously, but like I don't know. Maybe look. they know what they're doing. It may be pneumonia. Well, and um, when he got there, his heart rate was really high, but his blood pressure was really low. I don't know what that means. His white blood cell count was zero. Zero. Which I so think has to was, do with chemo, too. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Nothing was fighting off infection. Anything. But, uh, it was just, it was so, I mean, I'm still in, like, he's, he, he'll be back, you know? Like, I'm, he, he just left. He's coming back. His truck is still in our driveway you know it's like yeah i cried when i pulled in <sighs> those type of things are what hurt or gonna hurt the most i think right now well and but, that's what um we had talked about too when he first came and stayed here was like regardless of what happens the room where he was staying we have to pass it every day in our house well and that's and something i'm very grateful for is that mom knew exactly what to do and that's what moms are for she knew to just call the ambulance as soon as she saw the state that he was in and like we got him out of here because I don't know, like, if he had passed away in our house, you know, like, I'm glad it happened the way it did as far as that goes. I mean, I'm not saying that's a good thing that happened, like, you know what I mean? But it was, it was just crazy. I think the whole Colin didn't make it in time to be there to see him before it happened, but we've had three weeks, of four just, weeks, four really, weeks of almost of Trixie <laughs> of just honestly times with him like you have never had before really and truly no like i don't think you've ever had as much fun with him and bonded really no we haven't like we well, and i've talked about it in the previous uh videos about dad like we never had that like i was more of a mama's boy type guy and so this, and he was more of just a serious like, like we don't talk about hugs yeah we don't, <laughs> hug, we don't do any of that but he like kind of got down on my level and understood what I was doing with YouTube and he like and for the that, first time for the first time ever and that bothered me and after for the past four years that's bothered me that he just thinks I'm being lazy and sitting behind my computer and play it on the internet and play it yeah playing on the internet and he like got on my level and he like understood dove in and like created it we were just going through some of his notepads and stuff down there and he had like concept of channels <laughs> like he had channel concepts written on a legal pad and he was just like, oh my God. He was like so serious about this stuff. And he wanted me to put a Trixie compilation together so we could send it out, out no, to you people. I never did that. I know, I'm still gonna do it. I think you should just to send it to him and let them know what yeah, happened. Yeah. Cause it was, it was for the people he was working with on some projects, so. so. Yeah, and it's obviously been several, several hours since he passed. It's and we, been, it was like 6.10 they said. Yeah, we've had a lot of time to talk and reminisce and I'm still just like, oh, but. <laughs> It was pretty bad, and then uh, my sisters, one of them, Rachel's obviously here, but the other ones are out of town, and one of them was on her way, and she turned around once we told her, I mean, it was just, uh, that's another thing, it's just like, the next few days are going to be the toughest, so we're 
prepared and we're trying to get prepared and what's coming and we don't know. So anyway, thank y'all for the support and the love and everything else. I don't know what else to say. Just like everything else on the vlogs, we share the good and the bad and that's what I was like. This is the positive and the negative of what you do for a living is you are able to be home and be with family, but you are supposed to be making happy and fun videos, <laughs> but we're sharing And I life. know everybody's gonna say, take a week off, take two days off, take three days off. I want this for myself. I want to have this for my memories and for us. And it wouldn't be authentic if I picked the camera up in a week and started talking about this again. You know, this, I is, want, how Colin this is this is my, my therapy right now. So and editing the rest of my video that we filmed this morning before all this happened. Yeah, so and that'll get my mind off of it. Just so. being peppy and. Crunk Kitchen actually started the day you found out your dad had cancer the, in <laughs> <Yes>. 2012. <laughs> That's where I get it from. You yeah. see, dad, it, I, I started Crunk Kitchen when I found out dad had cancer in 2012. It was that day and he was like, I need to, I, I've just got to do something <laughs> crazy to get my mind off of this. So. And he started Trixie. That's just funny to think about. Mm -hmm. And we both do this with our shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and I rub my head. I don't know if that's what that does. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to wrap the vlog up now. Thank you so much. All the tweets and love and messages and posts and it's all just been amazing. And we appreciate it so, so very much. It really means you've a lot to us. You've been amazing too. And oh, I haven't done anything, but. You've been here for me. Oh, and you've like allowed my dad to live in the house. There's a lot of broken families out there that this may, you know, it could have been a lot worse, but. Definitely. We're glad we had the time that we did to get to spend with him, for sure. <laughs> Better flashing. All right, CYOTFS, catch you on the flip side. Bye. Rest in peace, Trixie. We love you, Dad. Bye. All right, Dad, get him. You got it. <laughs>